Today is January 10th, 2024, 8.57 p.m. We had gotten dispatched here in downtown to a structure fire at the address uh, of 810 Houston Street here in downtown Fort Worth at the Sandman Hotel. Uh, when companies started arriving on scene, they, they switched that call type to multiple calls of an actual explosion that had taken place. There was this large flash and what sounded like a big bang of thunder. Um, it shook the building, the windows shook. That was my initial thought was that, it, it, that, that was my initial thought is that it was lightning because it had been raining earlier in the day. Then this big debris cloud came down the street. From there, we ran outside to see what had happened and there was a very strong natural gas smell. When I heard the loudest boom I could ever hear and I looked up and underneath the awning at the Sandman Hotel where the valet and parking lot is, was just a huge puff of black smoke. And I screamed and then all of a sudden when the smoke fades away, there's just debris and metal and everything just flying everywhere and a piece bounced right in front of my package car and then went over and landed on the sidewalk. search what's left of the Sandman Signature Hotel after yesterday's blast. Looking at after uh, our results of the explosion, Omar Villafranca has more on what happened and some of the people trapped inside. Holy crap. The blast of the century-old building was powerful enough to rip large chunks off the facade and send debris hurling into downtown Fort Worth streets. Around 3.30 p.m. on Monday, the suspected gas explosion rocked the Sandman Signature Hotel, blowing out at least the first two floors. Something just blew up outside my office. Oh, my God. 21 people sustained non-life-threatening injuries. Fire officials described a chaotic scene with some of the injured even treated on street corners. We did extract several people from the basement. They weren't able to get out on their own. 26 rooms were occupied in the 20-story building, and crews had to put out a fire inside. I really thought it was a bomb, and then I started smelling the gas. Officials are looking into exactly what caused the explosion. The hotel said in a statement that it's working with first responders and will help those injured. For CBS Mornings, I'm Omar Villafranca, Fort Worth, Texas. Recordings just got continue our coverage of the... That was the moment a newly renovated hotel exploded, shaking downtown Fort Worth. This took place at the Sandman Signature Hotel on Houston Street. It's just a short walk from Sundance Square. Search and rescue crews were on the scene overnight, making sure no one is still trapped in that area. Now, we do know that 21 people were injured, but thankfully, and perhaps amazingly, everybody survived this blast. Fort Worth Fire says it appears to be a gas explosion. That investigation, though, is just beginning. Chris Adegui is live outside the hotel this morning. Chris, this blast really rattled everyone within blocks of it. Yeah, Kara, and we were able Police to talk they are to working some with people who were on the ground here when the explosion happened. A major incident, a mass casualty incident. Fox Wars Dan Abram live us. in downtown what Fort Worth with the latest on the ground for the explosion at the Sandman Hotel at 7th and Houston Streets. Dion. Hi there, Clarice. I am at West 7th near Lamar, and I am uh, uh, just uh, touching base or just uh, talking with a gentleman here who tells me he is in town and he was staying at that hotel, the Sandman Hotel. He was not inside the hotel at the time, but what can you tell me about uh, what's happening? Uh, I was uh, at the Fort Worth Club, which is an office that I have. Uh, he was up 3.30 today at 7th and Main. We announced today, in case you're just joining us, I'm not making this up. 3.30 today at 7th and Main. Maybe you want to check it out on Good News Collection if you do know. Go to it is like, no, the, the delightful neighborhoods. I'm going to be there at 3.30. I'm going to go over. I, I don't care. I can be sucked into this. I'll be in the video. Come on! Bring us a Make her the cutest I've ever seen. To lips like roses and clover And tell her that her lonely nights are over Oh, Simon, I'm so alone Don't have nobody to call my own So please turn on your mess 
tragic since then that he was staying at the hotel. He was next door when that uh, explosion happened about 3.30. He said he felt it. It felt like a violent uh, shaking, almost like uh, what he, and he should know, he's from Southern California, what an earthquake feels like. Uh, but we did talk with some others who uh, also gave us their account of what, uh, what they witnessed. Oh, I couldn't believe it. It appeared to me that the uh, there was an explosion under, underground in the cellar area because the uh, sidewalk was completely blown out and the, the big chunks of the sidewalk were in the street. And you can see the opening down into the... Yes. Did you see people who were We saw some people being taken out of the building on the second or third floor. The uh, fire fire people had um, had ladders and they were helping them down. But they down. didn't appear injured. We did see uh, an ambulance uh, bed come. We didn't see the person except being taken away and his or her head was wrapped up, but he was sitting up. That's the only injured person we, we saw. Well, back live here, uh, there is still quite uh, a significant number of emergency responders that are still at this scene. You can see uh, just a lot of flashing lights. We're about a block and a half away from uh, that explosion uh, scene at the Sandman Hotel, a hotel that, uh, as you heard from one gentleman who says he was staying there, uh, it was not a very busy hotel, but uh, he definitely says he was staying there. He's in town for business. Um, some others, uh, according to a Authorities. There were some injuries. We have heard 11 injuries thus far, and um, for now, uh, there's not a sense of franticness, but definitely still uh, the response uh, in the aftermath of this explosion going on right now. Clarice, back to you. Yeah, still a very active scene, Dion. Where you are, there were reports earlier of a smell of natural gas. Do you smell gas right now? We do not smell gas where we are. And uh, I talked to a couple of folks who uh, came uh, to, they were walking from that direction or closer to where the, the blast occurred. And they said, uh, one gentleman said he described what smelled like burning paint. Uh, so, but facade. I asked him uh, specifically, did he smell gas or was there a smell of gas? And he, he said no. Around 3.30 p.m. on Monday, the suspected gas explosion rocked the Sandman Signature Hotel, blowing out at least the first two floors. Something just blew up outside my office. Oh, my God. 21 people sustained non-life-threatening injuries. Fire officials described a chaotic scene with some of the injured even treated on street corners. We did extract several people from the basement that weren't able to get out on their own. 26 rooms were occupied in the 20-story building, and crews had to put out a fire inside. I really thought it was a bomb, and then I started smelling the gas. Officials are looking into exactly what caused the explosion. The hotel said in a statement that it's working with first responders and will help those injured. For CBS Mornings, I'm Omar Villafranca, Fort we Worth, see Texas. From those images look uh, like it was a devastating uh, blast or explosion. And as you heard from the gentleman who said he was next door, just uh, like a, a violent shaking uh, that occurred when that uh, when it happened. So uh, we are just uh, really hoping for the best, uh, listening out for more details, and um, uh, just trying to get as much information as we can. Yes, there is a, a, in case you're just joining us, I'm not making this up. 3.30 today. Around 3.30 p.m. on Monday, the suspected gas explosion the rocked the, the Sandman explosion Signature at Hotel. The Sandman Hotel at 7th and Houston Streets, Dion. Hi there, Clarice. I am at West 7th near Lamar, and I am uh, uh, just uh, touching base or just uh, talking with a gentleman here who tells me he is in town and he was at Lamar. It's Dion. 7th and Houston. At 7th and Houston. At 7th and Houston. At 7th. At 7th. Hotel at 7th and Houston Streets. Hi there, Clarice. I am at West 7th near Lamar, and I am uh, uh, just uh, 
touching base or just uh, talking with a gentleman here who tells me he is in town and he was staying at that hotel, the Sandman Mr. Hotel. Sandman. He was not inside the hotel at the time. But what can you tell me about uh, what's happened? Make her the cutest. Give her to the Just joining us. I'm not making this up. 3:30 today at 7th and Main. We'll find out it's a hotel I'm staying at. Now you're in a bit of a conundrum, uh, trying to find out what's next for you. You know, I'm just happy that hopefully not too many people got hurt. The ones that did are make it. So for, to find, for me to find another room is okay, but more important about to make sure people are okay and you know that it keeps going. Definitely. I can sleep in my car. Well, Mike Vanka, thank you so much. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping to talk to us. All right. Well, um, that is uh, the account of someone who says that, that he was staying at the hotel. He was next door when that uh, explosion happened about 3.30. He said he felt it. It felt like a violent uh, shaking, almost like uh, what he, and he should know, he's from Southern California, what an earthquake feels like. Uh, but we did talk with some others who uh, also gave us their account of what, uh, what they witnessed. Oh, I couldn't believe it. it, it the uh, it's, it appeared to me that the uh, it, there's an explosion under underground in the cellar area because the uh, sidewalk was completely blown out and the, the big chunks of the sidewalk were in the street and you can see the opening down into and the smell into gas. The, you can smell gas. Did you see gas. people who were injured? We saw some people being taken out of the building on the second or third floor. The uh, fire fire people had um, had ladders, and they were helping them down. But they down. didn't appear injured. We did see a, an ambulance a bed come. We didn't see the person except being taken away, and his or her head was wrapped up, but he was sitting up. That's the only injured person we, we saw. And just a lot of flashing lights. We're about a block and a half away from that explosion uh, scene at the Sandman Hotel, a hotel that, uh, as you heard from one gentleman who says he was staying there, that uh, was not a very busy hotel, but uh, he definitely says he was staying there. He's in town for business. Um, some others, uh, according to authorities, there were some injuries. We have heard 11 injuries thus far, and um, for now, uh, there's not a sense of franticness, but definitely still uh, the response uh, in the aftermath of this explosion going on right now. Clarice, back to you. Yeah, still a very active scene, Dion. Where you are, there were reports earlier of a smell of natural gas. Do you smell gas right now? We announced... Just a, in case you're just joining us, I'm not making this up. 3.30 today at 7th and Main. at the Sandman Hotel at Send 7th debris, and Houston hurling into downtown Dion. Fort Worth streets. Hi there, Clarice. I Around 3.30 p.m. on Monday, Lamar, the suspected am, uh, gas explosion uh, Yes, there is a the in case you're just joining us. I'm not making this up. 3.30 today first at 7th and Main. Something just blew up outside my office. Oh, my God. 3.30 p.m. on Monday, the suspected gas explosion rocked the Sandman Signature Hotel blowing out at least the first two we announced a, a, a just blew just up us. I'm not making this up. Oh 3 30 today at 7 and Main sustained non-life-threatening injuries. Fire officials described a chaotic scene with some of the injured even treated on street corners. We did extract several people from the basement that weren't able to get out on their own. 26 rooms were occupied in the 20-story building and crews had to put out a fire inside. In and I then following you very I closely here on live now for gas. the box and the parents Officials explosion at a hotel in downtown Fort Worth, Texas. You can see fire personnel on hand. This right is Houston, now. say again, please. Uh, you're uh, we've had a problem. Of, uh, information right now, our Fox Sports we've had a main beep on the ground on the as well. I do want to put up this right. image. It looks like some of the walls are just blown off. 
left as well. I do want to put this image. It looks like some of the walls are just blown off of this hotel. You can see potential a window there and just uh, different the ground as well. I do want to put up this image. It looks like some of the walls are just blown off of this hotel. You can see potential a window there and just uh, different parts of this building. Police on hand. Uh, as well i do want to put up just several tweets as well uh, as we continue to gather information not a ton of information like i said earlier on but this uh, coming in from the fort worth fire department saying along with other emergency responders they're on the scene of a major incident what they're calling in downtown fort worth please avoid the area we'll provide update on information as it becomes available you can follow there for updated details i believe we do have a a post coming in from our fox 4 team uh, as well they're getting some viewer tweets in and you can see just uh potentially a little bit ago of uh fire crews on hand trying to get people out of that building uh, i wonder uh, if my producer caleb can you make that uh, a full image right here because you can kind of see someone stepping out of a potentially second floor window with this uh, ladder there on the ground as a apparent explosion in downtown fort worth texas uh, again not a ton of information right now but uh, what we do know is that they're responding to a major incident, asking people to avoid the uh, area. Crews are in the area of Houston Street and West 7th Street. Uh, police are asking people to avoid the area. Significant damage as well. We are on the ground as well as up in the air. Uh, you can see police there on hand. They were, they they were talking to uh, it is like different no, people delight from that potentially will buy the hotel. We're in the hotel uh, as well, I, I but care. that I can was just a this. little bit I'll ago. Uh, police on hand, Fort Worth, uh, police as well. And just the uh, amount of damage to this building, to those uh, buildings in downtown uh, Fort Worth. We don't know how tall these buildings were. Uh, we're still learning more information about that, but of course, uh, this is uh, potentially a building that's known as the Heritage Building, the Wagoner Building, completed in 1920. Of course, it is a historic place. It's listed on the National Register of Historic Places, we believe. One of the most historic hotels in the Fort Worth, Dallas, DFW area as well. Remains the original features, of course, there in uh, that city. Uh, we do want to give you another live look on the ground as we're learning more information. Emergency crews walking about. Doesn't seem to be any like imminent danger. No one's uh, maybe staying away from the building. They're kind of right on hand, uh, potentially just trying to figure out what happened, what's going on, and making sure people are safe as well. I want to give you this one live look on top from our Fox 4 team, giving a good look there at all the destruction, the walls uh, a little bit blown off as we're following it here. That moment a newly renovated hotel exploded, shaking downtown Fort Worth. This took place at the Sandman Signature Hotel on Houston Street. It's just a short walk from Sunday this morning. Search and rescue crews were on the scene overnight, making sure no one is still trapped in that area. Now, we know that 21 people were injured, but thankfully, perhaps amazingly, everybody survived this blast. Fort Worth Fire says it appears to be... There's the signature. That investigation Nobody got just killed. Chris Adegui is live outside the hotel this morning. Chris, this blast really rattled everyone within blocks of it. Yeah, Kara, and we were able to talk to some people who were on the ground here when the explosion happened, and they tried to describe for us what an explosion that can cause that kind of damage right there, what it felt and sounded like. Well, that is what it sounded like on some surveillance cameras in the area, a huge rumble. Businesses nearby said it looked like a movie scene explosion, glass just shattered all over the sidewalk. Firemen trying to get the injured to safety. We spoke with an Uber driver who was driving down Houston Street, and he said first he heard it, and then he turned the corner. That's when he grabbed his cell phone and started shooting. I knew it was an explosion because it was so loud. That's when I saw somebody on the second floor. And we talked to another business owner whose business is just across the street. They have a Segway tour business. He showed us the inside and a lot of damage to his business as well. Fortunately, though, for him and his customers, they were not open yet. Mark Caraman. Boy, thank you for the update, Chris. There's certainly a lot of questions still about this explosion. I want to bring an expert on fires and explosions like these to help us understand just how things happen. Yes, we're joined right now by Richard Meyer. Thank you for waking up with us early, Richard. We do appreciate it. Let's kick off.
off this morning and talk about how explosions like this even happen. Uh, good morning. Uh, first, I'd like to, to give my uh, my best wishes to those who were injured in the incident and uh, hope for a speedy recovery. Uh, as far as how explosions like this can occur, uh, typically, we're, we're, if, if this is in fact a gas leak, what we're looking for is the, the source of the gas. Uh, we're talking about, you know, in this case, it's a very large volume of gas because of the, 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 the amount of damage that was done. Uh, my understanding is that there was a base, a, a restaurant in the basement of the structure. Uh, restaurants typically will use a large volume of gas for, you know, for their cooking uh, appliances. So there could have been a leak from an appliance. Uh, it's an old building with old yeah. piping. It could have been a leak from the, the piping within the building, or it could have been a leak uh, actually from outside the building. I've had several cases where it's a signature Sandman. The gas mains that last. leaked into a structure and then uh, nobody died. Caused the explosion. Richard, we're showing people right now video of just some of that debris. Given just how large this explosion was, how surprised are you that nobody died? Uh, actually, pretty surprised. It's uh, mm. typically when you have an explosion mm. like Nashville, this, right? a very intensive fireball. Um, and the heat from uh, a fireball like that can cause injuries very quickly. Second, third degree burns, even fourth degree burns, which are you know, basically to the bone. Uh, and it is not unusual for people to sustain serious burn injuries that they may survive for days, weeks, even months afterward and still succumb to their injuries at a later time. Now we're looking at this video and to the layperson, we're going, okay, it just, it's just debris Which everywhere. is what it's we've seen mess. But for an investigator, the what news. are they looking at specifically and what can all of this debris the tell them about day. what happened? Explosion so of what that we're size looking for is, is we call it the amazing. explosion it's a gift. It's basically, it's so it's an amazing gift is what the people in the news are saying, and that's exactly so case, what I was saying the day where before. Is the debris coming it happened from? What direction is it in Nashville? To? When I thought uh, it would happen somewhere in Philly. What's the degree of damage on this side of the building versus that side of the building? Well, uh, some of that can really help dies. us with pinpointing the source of the gas, the source of ignition. Or, and some of that is based on you know, the, the structural strength of various materials. So you have to take out of trying to further the explosion. Mr. Meyer, thanks so much for waking up early with us and giving us your insight. We do appreciate it. I know we're doing this as well. should be Should be that explosion. I'm working on Chris for my is still fear in everybody. Except for Robin on the wall. I would have to. So just like the Home Depot destruction, that nobody died. The fire chief says the most extensive October twentieth, just about an hour ago. 
2019, say at this point we have no after I point to my Home Depot hat, I get a shout out we have no reports of any on the news, at this point. Robin we have Lane, found no additional victims. The most seriously injured victim is being treated at the Parkland Dallas burn unit. Two victims were says, hospitalized no for less serious injuries. Far. And they zoom, zoom into Robin. <laughs> Most other victims of the blast had minor injuries. They're showing the area Robin. around the Sandman Signature Hotel on Houston Street remains no closed. The fire chief there. says the it building has been deemed safe enough for his crews, Irish though, to Robin. continue working. But this is an evolving Sensible situation as material from the blast site new. is removed. Yeah. Fox Forest down they just has more now from the floor. Mr. Sandman, it is a myriad. And now we understand some state resources will also be added to assist the recovery and the investigation. There is significant damage to the building. Um, A detailed briefing for city leaders. Fort Worth Fire Chief Jim Davis used photos that speak volumes. The building was occupied. There was approximately 28, 29 rooms that were actually rented uh, at the time of the, of the incident. There were um, injuries that occurred. There was approximately 21 people total that were um, treated. Um, there were some that refused assistance, to, uh, further assistance and, and left against medical advice. There were 15, it's my understanding, that were transported, one in critical condition. And the latest on the investigation. We do believe that gas was involved. The question that we have that we're waiting to work together with Atmos on is whether or not a gas leak caused the explosion or an explosion caused the gas leak. We heard the sound, saw the windows rattle. The blast, the police chief Neil Noakes interrupted a meeting. Is whether or not a gas Make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Give her two lips like roses and clover. Gas leak caused the explosion, or an explosion caused the gas leak. We heard the sound, saw the windows rattle. The blast sure for police chief Neil Noakes interrupted a meeting. It was chaotic. It was devastating. It was kind of hard to see here in Fort Worth, in the heart of Fort Worth. But what I saw was Fort Worthians doing what they do. I saw residents who were coming out, <clears throat> people who worked at businesses, they were assisting those who were injured. I saw four police officers, some who had gone in the building to help FD with the evacuation. Today, a look at more damage. The blast blew out car windows and twisted and pummeled their exteriors. Vehicles belonging to Sandman Signature Hotel guests damage. The blast blew out car windows and RV W. Rob Ben wins. 1976. 9 and 2. 11. Second. Twisted and pummeled their exteriors. Vehicles belonging to Sandman Signature Hotel guests and others it's parked in the lot again, next to the building. Uh, here's the Including Scott and Angela Cockroft's Cadillac SUV. They were in the hotel elevator on the way to their ninth floor room when the explosion happened. When it first jerked, we thought it was a malfunction with the elevator. Um, and then it, it happened again and debris was falling and smoke was filling the cabin. The couple from Prosper was attending a business retreat. The lights went out. Everyone asked, what did you think had happened? All we could think about was get out, get out of the elevator. We were on the phone with 911, but we were one of the first calls and they were, you know, just as unsure. We thought there's a fire somewhere. We could hear fire alarms going off. Their next challenge was getting down safely from the ninth floor. It was black and people were hollering and screaming and it was... It was uh, kind of cloudy, but I think that was the debris that was on the elevator. Um, we don't really know where the, all the debris and smoke came from once we got out. And then it was just heading down the stairs, uh, which was 
very black, so we used our phone uh, light to get out. Now, the fire chief just pointed out to us here that because of the complexity of uh, this building and the way it is laid out and also how the lower floors collapsed uh, after this blast, uh, they are calling in some FEMA and state uh, related resources to help here with the recovery. Also, uh, the fire chief points out that this area will be closed, will be off limits for at least several days. That was his best estimate and again uh, we are between 7th west downtown 7th and 8th streets. streets here downtown inside Around Houston and on Monday the suspected gas explosion rocked the Sandman Signature Hotel blowing out at least the first two floors something just blew up outside my office oh my god 21 people sustained non-life-threatening injuries fire officials described a chaotic scene with some of the injured even treated on street corners we did extract several people from the basement that weren't able to get out on their own. 26 rooms were occupied in the 20-story building, and crews had to put out a fire inside. I really thought it was a bomb. And then I started smelling the gas. Officials are looking into exactly what you know caused significant the damage to the building. The hotel and said in a statement our crews arriving with the first they responders found multiple and victims help. inside the building. We did a primary search, removed as many of the people that we could physically remove and went back through the building to make sure that there was nobody else that we could immediately find. There were approximately uh, 20 people that were treated. There were 15 approximately that were transported. One is in critical condition and is over at Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas because there were some burns involved with that patient. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with her and with their family. Um, I will tell you that the Fort Worth Fire Department uh, Fire Investigations Unit is in the, in the lead on the investigation of this. There um, was, obviously, there was uh, gas, natural gas involved. We do not know if gas caused the explosion or the explosion caused the gas problem. So that's part of the investigation, no clear and we're working collaboratively and now, uh, with the plans are having to be made for upcoming parades that would have been near the hotel. Fox 4's Dion Angler is in Fort Worth right now. Dion. Hi there, Steve. Uh, you said it. Uh, the work is ongoing now some 48 hours into multiple investigations here and now logistics for annual events are being adjusted to accommodate this restricted area. Gas supplier Atmos Energy, under the jurisdiction of the Texas Railroad Commission, continues testing gas lines around the Sandman Signature Hotel for any issues that may shed light on Monday's explosion. The jurisdiction of the Texas Railroad Commission continues testing gas lines around the Sandman Signature Hotel for any Mr. issues Sandman. that may shed light on 